I promise you, I would have never expected this to be the outcome. Now we covered that little baby stream, uh, little baby show actually got shot up. We found out the guy. Um, by the way, I don't know. Y'all got to do. A, we got to do a vote in here. Are we gonna solve the crime or let the police solve the crime? We can solve the crime. Like we, we know the shooter. By the way, I know the shooter. I got his IG. I know everything. Do I need? Do we? Do we need to solve the crime or? At this point, I think we've done enough. Um, if you guys don't know, and, and thanks to the great people who watch this stream, this stream is legendary. We got the shooter right here. Bang. Nigga right here holding out the gun. Right here. Bang. He right here. Okay. Now, we know this guy's name. I know where he live at. I know where his girl live at. I know where his baby mama live at. I know where, uh, uh, um, well, I don't know where he got the gun from. But I know everything about him, including social security number. Now, it is not, again, we're not trying to, like, really be cops. You know what I mean? We just be trying to understand. So this guy right here who did the shooting, he right here. Bang. Right here. Whoa. Bang. Right there. We're not going to um, put no information out on him, but he'll be promptly arrested, I guarantee, by, like, tomorrow or the day after. Sorry. Now, y'all might be like, yo, yo that's kind of being fed. If you are fucking dumb enough to shoot in a fucking arena with 17,000 people, do not blame academics if you get locked up. What the fuck are you doing for you to be shooting in a loaded arena? It's a arena. Are you fucking dumb? So this guy, he will be promptly arrested. And um, we'll see what it is. Anyway, that's not even the biggest story that came out of this. I awoke after we covered this. I guess he probably seen the video to the guy who got shot seemingly responding to us. Remember, we were like, oh, my God, like, damn, we trying to figure it out. The guy who got shot, he was in the hospital room. And I guess he says, yo, fuck all that. I don't need no more painkillers. Fuck that surgery shit. I was finna do my appendix. Get me my phone. He got his phone and he delivered a message. This is what he had to say. Hey man, don't get on no social media trolling. Like a nigga not to be out, man. Hey man, the minute you go at niggas out of two, like no way I'll let a fuck boy take me out, nigga. I don't like That's very important. I'm glad he said that. He a real nigga. He definitely can't let a fuck boy take him out, right? Thank God. I'm in pine like a motherfucker. Hey, but Jizz is good, though. Did he say Jizzle is good? No fucking way. Now, I don't know too much. Of, you know, I, at a one point before I, I became who I am, I was going to be a doctor. So I was kind of doing math and science, trying to be a doctor, and I was going to go to med school. But I didn't get there. But I, ain't got, I don't need to get there to be like, he got bandages right here on his stomach, right? On his stomach. Got one right here, and it looked like he almost got like a goddamn like zipper type of stitched up thing right here. I don't know if you're good, my brother. It looked like it looked like your ops got you looking like Connect Four. I don't think you're good, brother. I don't think you're good, my guy. I want you to be well. I don't think you're good. You got a stitch from your neck to your balls. Your fucking right nipple is under a fucking like, like thing. And then they got, come on, bro. Anyway, here's the thing. After he said he was good, here's the shit. Hey, tell them how that blogs quit posting me though. What? This is ridiculous, chat. He's on his hospital bed recording a video for the internet. And he's saying, tell the blogs, don't post me. Wait. Bro, you realize they're... Wait, wait, hold on. The, the blogs covered that you got shot and you're now posting a video from the bed in the... But you realize everybody's going to post you, right? But no, it's all good. By the way, I think the morphine's hitting this nigga, okay? I know, Del, hey, man. Here's the thing. He about to tell us some revelation we don't know. Here's go. I'm a dog, man. He's a dog. 
I don't know what that means. I, I would really hate for my dog to be shot. I love Pluto. He's he, he's out there. Like I would no. I don't think that means you could get shot and it's cool. Let's keep hearing what he's saying. This shit concrete, boy. Did he said his this shit is concrete? Then poke into his fleshy skin? Oh hell no. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe this is a Memphis disorder. Ain't no fucking way. This nigga said that his body's concrete, but he's laid up in the hospital. And he has a fucking, like, you know what I mean? He ha Yo, you know them hoodies? I hate hoodies where you got to zip it up right here. I like the hoodies you just put over yourself. I hate the ones where you, you can put your arms in and then you zip up. That's the stitch he got going on. He got the zip up hoodie joint. I don't think you concrete if you got that one, Crody. I don't know. I don't think so, chat. Nigga said he was, yeah, you right, g -Nack. He said he was built for tough. I, if you was built for tough, you wouldn't be in the hospital. Tychek said, nah, he on heavy drugs, let him live. I ain't gonna lie. I, you're right. But this is such a nigga shit, bro. Like, this is like nigga shit. Bro, have we ever seen like a white person or an Asian person be like, yeah, yeah, my enemy shot me. But I'm good. Fuck them niggas. Like, an hour after it got done, like this is crazy. Let's let's listen to him though. Hey man, <laughs> this shit concrete, man. Yeah, this shit is concrete. Hey, I'm a dog. I'm good, man. This shit concrete, man. For real. Yeah. Is this what concrete is? Stop posting me, man. I'm wrong. Me, I'm good. Hey, man, don't get on no social. Now, he wasn't done. You know, I posted this video and I said, man, the guy who got shot at Lil Baby Show posted, posted a message from the hospital bed. He wants y'all to know he would never let a fuck nigga take him out. It's important to know. You can't let a fuck nigga take you out. Like, come on now. And he wants blogs to stop posting him, even though I posted him still. I said, our prayers are with this individual for a speedy recovery. Now, granted, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, Jehovah Witness people going to church and everything. Everybody's probably praying, yo, let's pray for CEO Jizzle. Hopefully, he could, you know, he, he could be recover. You know, hopefully he's not critical. Now, this is what I put. He quickly addressed that. He wasn't too fond of the prayers going up to God. Hear what he said. Don't pray for me. Well, you can pray for me. Pray for the ops, 10 times hard, yeah. Oh my God, don't pray for me. Pray for my ops. What? The ops don't have a zipper stitches right under your neck? What is going on? What the, what the fuck? Wait, wait, why are we praying for his ops? Chat, he wants us to pray for his ops. He's the one in the hospital. Uh, buddy. We should pray for the niggas who shot him. Let's hear the explanation. Straight up. If I eat my breath, kick my feet up, go to sleep. My, my, my I'm free ball. I'm so mad right now. My just so bothered right now. You say he's free balling? Oh, he having a good time. Holy shit. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't even being funny in the caption. I said, well, the man got shot at a little baby concert. The name is CEO Jizzle. He said, don't play for him. Let's pray for his ops. So I said, Kali, redirect y'all prayers to his enemies. Now, chat, I ain't gonna lie to you. We're gonna oblige him. Chat, we need a collective moments of silence that we're gonna bow our heads for his ops. Okay, remember, he in the hospital, he shot, but he told us, let's be honest, you got to honor a man's wishes, especially when he's on, you know, his sick bed. He said, don't pray for me, let's pray for his ops. So fuck it, let's have a prayer for the ops. Chat, I'm going to lead us in a prayer. 
Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you've bestowed on us. We don't do this enough, but thank you for your grace and your mercifulness that when we do do it, you do appreciate it and you do have grace on us. Um, CEO Jizzle, Memphis goon, Memphis gangster. He's currently in the hospital recovering from a gunshot. But this prayer ain't about him. His prayer is about the niggas who shot him. Yes, 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 Lord. We want to pray for the guy who pulled out the blicky. We want to pray for the guy who pressed the trigger. We want to pray for the guy who was brave enough and took the chances enough to sneak a gun into the FedEx form. We want to pray for their safety. We want to pray that the cops don't catch him. We want to pray for their long life. Again, the Lord always say, even when you're confused as man, there is a bigger plan. You should just follow what the protocol happens to be. So I'm just praying for the ops as he requested. I pray his op that shot him don't get caught. I pray his op that shot him has a long life. I pray his op that hurt him enjoys the bountifulness and the, 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 the graciousness of, of our Father God. I hope there's no repercussions. I hope there's no get back. And I hope that he has just got away with attempted murder scotch free. This prayer has been sent to you, God, on behalf of CEO Jizzle, because I know you have him redirected to the spam folder. So we will make sure this is in the inbox. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is good. This is good. We have to say the prayer. Sorry. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Said the prayer. Yeah. So I had to say the prayer in the chat. Everybody, everybody in the chat say amen. Everybody in the chat say amen. Please. Have some respect. I'm not playing that type of shit. Have some respect. Okay. Okay. Hey, I'm in the rumble chat. I ain't seen enough amens yet. Okay, only the future. Amen. There we go. All right. Chat. I'm only doing what these niggas tell me to do. They said, pr don't pray for me. Pray for my ops. Okay, I pray for the ops. Say, I don't even know who the ops is. I ain't know who the ops is. I ain't gonna lie. Who's his ops? Could you tell me where my prayer went? I don't know who his ops is. Okay. All right. Now, chat, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This is coonery and buffoonery at its finest. While he's soaking up clout, not worrying about nothing in the fucking world.